I'm Matthew Tomaszewski of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. I'm standing on the fourth floor of Lincoln Hall where quite a bit has transformed over the past couple of months. The walls are now in as well as conduit and duct work for the heating, cooling, plumbing, electrical, and the fire alarm systems. In fact, right now, you see behind me, the painters are patching and taping and priming the offices in preparation for painting. But as great as all of this looks right now, the real action is occurring four floors below me in the basement. There, contractors are performing open heart surgery on this old hall. So here we are in the basement of Lincoln Hall. And you'll notice it looks a little bit different than it did when we first moved out of the building. Um, for example, you've noticed a lot of excavation going on. That's necessary so that we're able to move the new mechanical equipment into the building that's going to power all those new systems. The original building was designed for X amount of load. And what you all decided to do here was obviously lower the floor, put in some mechanicals, and obviously increase the loads on the foundation a little bit. So what we were called in to do is to reinforce the foundation. The piece that you use is called a micropile. Could, Correct. Could you tell us a little bit about what that is? What we've done here is we have a hydraulically driven pier, which is a pipe pile that is manually driven into the ground with a load cell and a ram and a jack. We are driving it down to the, to the load bearing strata, which is designed by all the engineers, uh, geotechnical engineers and structural engineers, as to what this foundation needs to support the building. We're pushing these down to approximately 50 feet. Micropiles went through the old footing. Right. They were driven down to a, a particular depth to provide you know, additional re reinforcement for the structure. But what we have to do now is when once we dig this, we've got earth that's exposed underneath the footing that we don't want to fall in onto the, into the building. So we put this underpinning in, and that's what that concrete wall is. It's, that's currently right in front of the footing, and it butts up to the micropiles. Everything you see right here will actually be covered by the final concrete floor. None of this will be left exposed, with the exception of these floor drains, some of the clean outs, and those sump pits will, will still be visible. If you come back in here, what, I think the project's supposed to be done in 2012, right. yeah. uh, it's going to look, I mean, 3,000 times better than this right now. Well, that's all for this episode. We'll see you next time on This Old Hall.